Good morning, students. Welcome to the seventh grade, two thousand twenty-one academic year. I am Dipendra Thapa, and I'll be your subject teacher for this year's subject geography. Today, I am going to start a new chapter. That is the first chapter that is called the topographical maps, and you can refer to your textbook from page number two. Okay. as we know and have studied in class 6 in the previous year that maps are used for representing so i am using the word representing representing means depicting or showing the picture so maps are used for showing the picture of the earth's landforms or earth's reality the fact about earth the state of the earth its physical features as well as political features as well as thematic features there are different kinds of map and we have studied in class 6 there are political maps physical maps as well as thematic maps and the map is the most valuable resource or valuable tool or an instrument okay for a geographer so for a person okay who basically wants to study this maps okay it is very very useful it is a communication system now another word i am using here now for a teacher the communication system might be the language the mode of communication or the mirror of the society okay when we are okay going somewhere else we find that we have to know some languages like english nepali etc to in order to communicate likewise map also has a communication system this communication system is an equipment or an instrument or an information tool so it is a communication system a map is an communication system built by cartographer now who is a cartographer who makes map to represent certain kinds of facts that are found in the map or information that are found in the map with the help of conventional symbols he basically makes the map what are conventional symbols now i am coming to the third point conventional symbols now you have learned this in your smaller classes that is in class 6 but still i am okay revising it okay symbols as why m b o l s symbols now conventional symbols now what are conventional symbols okay now this conventional symbols shows various features like political features as well as physical features of our earth on a piece of map okay by using different kinds of signs and symbols for example color color is also used as a conventional symbols okay so it is a communication system built by cartographer to represent certain information on the map with the help of symbols these symbols are known as conventional symbols on a two dimensional figure now last time only in class 6 only we have studied what is two dimensional figure and what is three dimensional figure so i am writing here two dimensional okay figure now What is a two-dimensional figure? The two-dimensional figure is known as a map. What is a map now? So I'm going to read. Okay, what what does map mean? I'm going to define the map. A drawing of the Earth's surface. So it's a drawing. What is a map? A drawing of the Earth's surface, either the whole, okay, map, okay, or part of it on a flat surface is called a map. so a drawing of the earth surface either whole or part of it or a small part of the area is shown on the map is on a flat surface is known as a map with the help of the symbols we are able to read the map we are the map readers because when we look at the map when we look at a certain map we are the map readers or the viewers who is able to understand understand means know about and comprehend the map and interpret interpret means translate this map or explain this map 
thus to successfully and correctly interpret this information in, in order to understand this information that is written on the map both map maker and map reader has to understand certain elements of the map as well as symbols of a map that is represented on a particular map so we have to know the elements of the map elements of the map so we have to know the elements of the map what are the elements that are found in the map so just okay so i'm just rubbing this one what are the elements of the map let's take for example there are different elements found on the map okay the first one okay it's not written in your books but this is also impo important okay data frame what are found in the map okay the second one is leasing. These are elements of the map. Now, I think it is coming to your mind that we studied in class 6. Okay, what is a leasing? What is a title? Title of the map. Okay, every map has a title. It is the political map of Africa. It is the physical map of Africa or India. Okay, now leasing is found at the bottom of the map, which basically, okay, helps us to understand the different areas that are leveled with colors in the map. Now, we are looking at the fourth symbol, that is the north line or the north arrow. The north arrow is always found at the right, okay, top hand, which, which is shown with the, okay, top arrow, which is pointing towards the north, which is shown with the arrow like this way kind of arrow is soon this shows the north direction okay and another one is called the scale now scale is found in different kinds of map the most scales are found in plants as well as okay scales are found in topographical maps now let's look at the okay topographical maps now go to page number okay uh, three now you can see here you have a topo seat Okay, toposite is a map which represents the topographical features of the earth of a certain particular area. I'm not talking about the whole of India, but a particular area like Gujarat, Rajasthan, etc. Okay, now this is a topographical map or a toposite. Now below this toposite, you find a scale here which shows RF is, is to 1 is to 50,000. This is known as a scale. So every map, okay, that is that is basically drawn on a scale, okay, has the scale written on a particular map. So, topographical maps have scales, remember that. This chapter basically deals with topographical maps, its value, that is importance, elements, as well as symbols. Now, I for forgot to mention the symbols. Now, which symbols I'm talking about? S-Y-M-B-O-L-S. These are the two important things that you find in a map. I'm talking of the conventional symbols. Now, I'm moving on to what does topography mean? What does, I'm not talking about topographical maps right now. So don't, don't get confused here. I'm talking about topography. What does topography mean? T-O-P-O, -O, topography mean. Now, it means the shape. It means the shape. Shape of what? Shape of the earth. Okay. Or akar, or akriti, or appearance, or external, okay, appearance of the earth. I'm talking about that. And the characteristics or the character of the earth. Not only earth, but earth's surface. Now you can see what does topography mean. It means the shape, it means the character of the earth surface. Now what does character mean? Character means distinctive qualities of landforms found in different places. There are okay, deserts, there are mountains, there are hills, okay, there are water bodies, plains, etc. These are known as distinctive qualities of distinctive landforms that are found on the earth. This is known as topography. So, what does topographical map shows? It shows the distinctive qualities of the land found on the different places of the earth. On a piece of map which is very very detailed 
accurate as well as it is scientifically represented okay so today okay we find that maps were the first or uh, uh, maps were used first to record such observation of the land like the shape and character of the earth but to be more precise in the modern times in the modern mapping system okay a topographical map is used or a topo sheet is used okay topographical maps are also known as topo sheet okay topographical maps are also known as topographical sheet or topo sheet okay it's also called topographical sheet or topo sheet it is also called topographical sheet or topo sheet or topographical maps there are three names for that so what is a topo sheet now look here this is known as a topo sheet that you find in your book okay so what is a topo sheet okay uh, i just want to tell you a kind of map that shows topographical features now what kind of kind of topographical features it is showing okay it is showing the physical features now it is showing the political features it is also showing the thematic features okay i'm coming to this okay and it also shows the so so cultural features cultural features okay it shows how many features one two three four okay this is known as a topographical map so let's learn about the definition of topographical map a topographical map is a large scale map you have also studied about large scale and small scale map okay i'm going to drop the blackboard now what is a large scale map l a r g e large scale map so topographical map is a large scale map what is a large scale map it shows a small area it shows a small area okay now you can see number one point it shows a small area of the earth okay let's take talk about india only india has how many states you know it okay if i take only gujarat okay okay on a topographical map it might show a small area only that is gujarat okay but great amount of detail is shown but great amount of detail is shown okay now a small area is shown but with great detail so a small area is taken in a topographical map which shows the detail a bird view okay of that particular map it is very very accurate it is very very precise and it is very very clean okay so great amount of detail a topographical map is a large scale map which represents political features as well as physical features as well as socio cultural features of any area on a map so what are physical maps physical maps are those maps okay that shows the natural features of the earth i'm talking of the natural features what are natural features mountains plains plateaus okay then rivers and so on what are political features then political features are maps okay which shows okay boundaries of countries now india also has boundaries now let's talk talk about the okay boundaries the national boundary now look at this map now india has a boundary there this is a national boundary we have international boundaries also these are shown on the topographical maps also okay and of the states and of the cities so these things are shown but what are socio cultural features now which is shown on a topographical map now socio cultural features now custom what is a custom now where custom came from oh my god where the custom came from then lifestyle came from okay number 1 number 2 number 3 okay number 3 education is shown okay number 4 okay education is shown religion is shown okay what kind of religion is professed or practiced by the people living in that particular area is shown on a topographical map as well as what kind of technology is being used on that okay particular area so number 5 is technology there are many things t e c h n o l o g y technology 
except I'm telling you. There are many more things that is represented on the topographical maps. So sociocultural features means important cultural features like roads, okay, bridges, buildings, place names, okay, benchmarks, landmarks, symmetries means symmetries means graveyards are also shown, churches are also shown. Now the people who are living in that particular area has a church means they are Christians. Okay, if the people have a temple in a certain area, then these people are Hindus. Okay, this, this is shown in a topographical map. And schools and much more things are shown on a topographical map. So all these all these man-made features are known as socio-cultural features. Okay. This much for today. Thank you for listening. Hope you find this lesson useful.